Today we're going to learn about how we find the perimeter and area of shapes if our dimensions are polynomials. Okay. First question asks us for the area of a rectangle. We know how to do this. So I know that the formula for the area is length times width. And I've got my length and I've got my width. So let's just go ahead and solve. My area is 13x times 4x. It looks like I'm just multiplying monomials, which I know how to do. I'm going to do my numbers first. 13 times 4 is 52. And x times x is x squared. Remember, there's a 1 there, there's a 1 there. And we just add the exponents when we're multiplying same bases. Problem number two says, what's the perimeter of the same rectangle? And remember, the perimeter is just the distance all the way around the rectangle. So I have two different ways that I can think about it. One way is I could think about it as 2 times the length and add that to 2 times the width. Or if I wanted to take the long way, I could just add my length plus my width plus my length plus my width and go all the way around. Okay, I'm going to do it both ways so that you can see it done both ways. So we'll start with the first one, and my perimeter is 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. So I'm going to rewrite that as my perimeter is 2 times 13x plus 2 times 4x. Now PEMDAS tells me that I've got to do my multiplication, my 2 times 13x and my 2 times 4x, before I do my addition. So let's do those correctly. So 2 times 13x will give me 26x, plus 2 times 4x gives me 8x. I add them together because they have like terms. I can add 26x and 8x, and I end up with 34x. Okay. But if I wanted to do it the long way, and I wanted to add length times width times length times width, I would end up with my perimeter is 13x plus 4x plus 13x plus 4x. And let's see if I can combine like terms. Oh, I've got an x term and an x term and an x term and another x term. I can combine them all. So I end up with 13 plus 4 is 17 plus 13 is 30 plus 4 is 34, I end up with 34x, which is what I ended up with when I tried the other formula. Okay. Now I've got to find the perimeter of a rectangle. And uh, the perimeter for this rectangle is just like the last one. I can either double my, my length, add that to double my width, or I can add the sides all the way around. So, I'll, of course, I'll do them both for you. Let's start with the first formula. So, I'm going to call this my length and this my width. So, I'm going to end up with 2 times my length, which is 4x plus 10, plus 2 times my width, which is 2x. Now, what does PEMDAS tell me to do first? I need to do my multiplication before I do this addition. So let's distribute this 2 to this polynomial. So I end up with 2 times 4x, which is 8x, plus 2 times 10, which is 20, plus that's 2 times 2x, which is 4x. Now let's see if I can combine any like terms. I've got an x term and I have another x term. Good. So I'm going to combine those and I'm going to end up with 12x plus 20. Good. Right, let's try it the long way. My perimeter is my length, which is 4x plus 10, plus my width, which is 2x, plus my length again, which is 4x plus 10 plus my width, which is 2x. Right, let's see what terms I can combine. I can combine this x term with this x term, with this x term, with that x term. 
So I'll end up with 4 plus 2 is 6 plus 4 is 10 plus 2 is 12. I'll end up with 12x plus, let me see what else I've got. I've got some constants here, 10 and another 10. Yeah, so that would end up with 12x uh, tw plus 20. Yeah, 12x plus 20. Good, same thing. Now my next question is what is the area of this rectangle? And my formula for area is length times width. So I'm going to write that as, I'm going to actually write my width first because I can change the order. So I like to put my monomial on the outside. So I'll have 2x times 4x plus 10. Now that looks like I can distribute that. I will distribute that 2x and let's see what happens. So I'll end up with 2x times 4x plus 2x times 10. Okay, so I'm going to do my multiplication first. 2x times 4x. So I'm going to do my numbers first. I get 8. x times x is x squared. Plus my numbers first. I get 20. And then all of this left is an x. 8x squared plus 20x. And that's my area. Okay, what's the perimeter of this square? Now how to find the perimeter of the square? If I know what the side length is, I can just multiply that by 4 because it's the distance all the way around. Just adding that up. Or I can make a choice to add side plus the next side plus the next side plus the next side. Either way you want to do it's fine. Of course, I will do them both for you. So my perimeter is going to be equal to 4 times my side length, which is 3x minus 2. And I'm going to distribute that. But what I'm going to do before I distribute is I'm going to leave chain change this so that when I rearrange my um, expression, I can do that because I'll just, be, I'll just be adding. And adding is commutative. So we'll see what I mean in a second. I'm going to end up with 4 times 3x, which is, excuse me, which is 12x plus 4 times negative 2, which is negative 8. And that looks good. Looks good. Okay. And I'm done. So let's go ahead and um, use my other formula, which is 3x plus negative 2. It says I'll leave chain change that. Plus 3x plus negative 2 plus 3x plus negative 2 plus 3x plus negative 2. It's pretty long. Now, the reason it was so important that I leave chain change this is because I'm going to really kind of change the order. I'm going to change which terms are added together and which order. So I'm going to find all my x terms. I'm going to, here's a 3x, and here's another 3x, and here's another 3x, and here's another 3x. If I wanted to put them all together in the front, I could. I could have 3x plus 3x plus 3x plus 3x. So I know that equals to 12x. Okay. Now I'm going to look for my constants. I've got a negative 2 and a negative 2 and a negative 2 and a negative 2. So I'm adding a negative 8. Adding a negative 8. So you'll see that my answers are the same. 12x plus negative 8 and 12x plus negative 8. Because that is the perimeter of the square. Okay, what's the area of the square? I know my formula for the area of the square is s squared, or I could just multiply it by itself. So my area is 4xy to the third power squared. So ba doop ba doop ba doop, the power of a product. I'm going to rewrite this as 4 squared times x squared times y to the third squared which is going to become 16 times x squared times, oh, power to a power is my favorite, y to the sixth. I did it the other way. I would get my area is 4xy to the third times 4xy to the third. I'm multiplying monomials, so I have a 4 times a 4, which is 16. 
So I have an x times an x, which is an x squared. And then I have a y to the third times a y to the third, which is y to six, because I just add the exponents. There you go. So let's see if you can try yours. I'm going to go through this very quickly. So, so you pause if you don't have your worksheet so you can write down the problems. If you've got your worksheet, it's right on the back of it. And I'll see you at school.